It is quiet around most of the country thanks to this huge area of high pressure. So if you have travel plans within the Midwest, it looks just fine. If you're traveling out east, the weather's going to deteriorate as that storm moves up the eastern seaboard. Temperatures this morning, how about 63 in Milwaukee? That was the warm spot, 61 in Racine, and then everyone else, upper 40s to lower 50s. You can definitely tell that the city helps keep temperatures warmer with all the pavement and it absorbs the heat during the day. The inland areas, not so fortunate in the upper 40s. Sky completely clear over Port Washington. Temperature there, 67 degrees. Winds out of the northeast off the water, so it's keeping those temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70. It is a fantastic Friday for traveling, for going to work or school, unfortunately, or just relaxing around the area. And it's going to continue to be this way throughout the weekend, warming up each and every day before we get to the 80s and more humid weather conditions by Monday and into the rest of next week. Travel conditions around the state, sunny conditions, light winds, and 60s and lower 70s will bump these temperatures up just a few degrees for high temperatures later this afternoon. Then, of course, there's a big game going on in Green Bay tomorrow. No, the Packers are not playing yet. It's the Badgers and the Tigers from LSU taking on each other at Historic Lambeau Field, and you couldn't ask for better weather. I was joking this morning that the LSU fans are probably going to complain that it's too cold. 76 degrees, low humidity, and a nice breeze. That's Beautiful. That's like their winter. 73 by the end of the game. Go Badgers. Have fun. It is going to be packed up in Green Bay tomorrow. Temperatures around Milwaukee, upper 60s to lower 70s with that light northeast wind. We go out to Waukesha County, right around 70 degrees as well. Low humidity and sunshine in this afternoon. Only warming up another degree or two, right around 72 degrees for the temperatures. Now, the dew points have dropped into the 50s, and it's very comfortable not only here, but all around the upper Midwest. That will begin to change, though, as we get into Sunday. Today and tomorrow, we'll keep those dew points in the 50s, which is great. Then tomorrow, or I should say Sunday, start to get a little bit more humid. Not bad. You'll notice it on Monday, and you'll start to really feel that steam Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. But the weather conditions look to be fantastic. Hardly a cloud in the sky, no rain today, no rain tomorrow, and no rain on Sunday. Lows tonight back into the 50s. Great weather for some bonfires and s'mores this holiday weekend. And temperatures tomorrow, a couple degrees warmer than today, will be in the low to mid-70s, and it just keeps getting a little bit warmer each and every day. And it's not just nice here in southeastern Wisconsin. It is nice statewide for the entire weekend. 75 tomorrow, 78 for Sunday, 80 and a little bit more humid on Monday with an isolated shower late in the day. So the entire weekend looks to be dry. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, however, a better chance of thunderstorms, very humid, and mid-80s. Summer returns, just in time to go back to school and work. <laughs> Come on, Brian, you have this great forecast, and then you're like, and then you go back, and it's and then beautiful. You go back. Yeah. yeah, all right, thanks.